Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for C2H5OH. This is ethanol, also called ethyl alcohol. So we'll use this table here, and then we'll also look at the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. So let's start off looking at this carbon right here. This carbon right here has one, two, three, and we're gonna count this whole thing here as this other bond. Four things attached, and there's no lone pairs. All of the electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. So we have a steric number of four, so we have four things attached to our carbon here, and no lone pairs. Tetrahedral. So with respect to this carbon, we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and the bond angle would be 109.5. For this carbon right here, again, we have one, two, three, four things attached, no lone pairs. It's also going to be tetrahedral. Let's see what's happening with that oxygen atom there. We have hydrogen bonded, and then this whole thing here is bonded to the oxygen atom, but we have these two lone pairs. So we have a steric number of one, two, three, four, but we have two lone pairs. So we go over, and for the oxygen, we have a bent molecular geometry, and the bond angle would be about 109.5, probably a little different since we have just hydrogen here and then these other atoms. If we use the AXE notation, for example, this carbon here, we'd have A, that's the carbon, X, the things that are bonded to it, we said one, two, three, four, and no lone pairs. So we'd have AX4 for this carbon here, that would be tetrahedral. Again, this carbon here, we have four things and no lone pairs, so that would be AX4. Again, tetrahedral molecular geometry. For the oxygen, we have our hydrogen atom, and then this group here, so we have two things bonded there, and we have two lone pairs. So we have AXE2. If you look that up, you have a bent molecular geometry. Let's wrap up looking at this in three dimensions. So again, we see this carbon here has one, two, three, four things bonded to it, no lone pairs. Same for this carbon. Then the oxygen has one, two things bonded, and those lone pairs, they're right up here like this. So it ends up being bent. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for C2H5OH, ethanol or ethyl alcohol. Thanks for watching.